This is Robert Newman. I am the founder of Inbound Real Estate Marketing. Um, it's a blog that focuses on giving real estate professionals some tips and tricks in terms of online marketing. I do reviews and I talk about various aspects to real estate marketing. I try to focus on really, really short, fast, and effective things that real estate agents can do in order to achieve noticeable results online, which leads me directly into today's topic, which is real estate slogans and real estate taglines. Now, a slogan is something that usually a large brokerage, such as Hula Lords, spend a lot of time and money um, attaching emotion to local market leadership, world-class connections. Okay, six words, and they have it on their corporate website. Um, a tagline is usually much shorter. It's usually three or four words, and the best taglines are descriptive. Uh, an example here is um, from a guy by the name of Neil Spann. Now, this is a tagline that is on a Berkshire Hathaway website. And this is actually just uh, the agent's bio section. So if we scoot back one, you'll see the place that this is at. So you see a whole bunch of agents. And at the very bottom, you'll find Neil Span, And then you'll see that he's got a tagline. Now, the reason that this tagline works is that he is on a team website and he's chosen just a little tagline that separates him from everybody else. So if you go back under agents, and you're looking specifically at taglines, like Travis Brady. The starting of all of point of all achievement is desire. Now, for some reason, this particular agent thought that a motivational quote would be good to open up his bio. I couldn't disagree more. Um, a tagline, a one that is being well used, is gonna is going to tell somebody what your personal philosophy is, like your realtor for life. Okay, that just tells them that you're a professional real estate agent and that you intend to be a professional real estate agent until you retire. Now, that doesn't have to be true. However, the tagline sends a message to the person that's reading it. And that's extremely important. A handful of words sends a message to whomever reads it. Another example of a tagline that is done very, very well is this one. So this entire video is actually a companion piece to a blog post that I'm doing on real estate slogans and taglines. And so if you, if you want to get the full effect somewhere in the description of this video or maybe even right now on the screen, you, you'll see me try to connect this particular video to the blog post. If you're a person that likes a lot of written detail, then you probably will like the blog post. For a lot of people like myself, a video is more than enough, um, which is why I do them. So you look here, here's the tagline. So this is a, a agent called Patricia Burroughs, and here is Call Path for Real Estate Chat. Now, the reason that, that I'm doing a blog post, because a lot of people have talked about have talked about ideas for real estate slogans or ideas for taglines. That's not what my post is about. And that's not what this video is about. I wanted to give people literally visual examples and explain to them why they're good or bad to give them maybe the last and final piece of information that they need in order to either create a slogan or tagline for themselves or adjust one that they already have. Now, here's an interesting one, Corcoran Group. Okay, the Corcoran Group is a New York uh, brokerage. You may or may not know this, but Barbara Corcoran, who is on Shark Tank, was the founder of Corcoran Real Estate. When you look at the Corcoran Group real estate under Corcoran, you think that this may, is a company that doesn't have a slogan. That's actually not true. So Barbara Corcoran built up her business with very New York traditional values. So New Yorkers, which is a very, very particular audience, you can say something like, we're the best real estate group in the entire world. You know what? New Yorkers aren't going to believe you. They need you to prove it. So instead, what Barbara did is she, she just created an amazing reputation, diligent, 
she was practical, and uh, in, in some regards, I think she was ruthless. And that, that level of professionalism just kind of became synonymous with the brand. The brand built up in New York specifically, and then went from borough to borough. Now, they are currently outside of New York. However, the brand itself is definitely the name. It's the, since 1983, I think is when they were founded. But if you've done business with them, you understand what this slogan means. So it is a slogan. It is a very good one. And actually the, the plain and straightforwardness of the logo, it's all on purpose. It matched very much the market and the messaging that the company was trying to present. Now, here's another example. ERA, always there for you. Um, a good example of what a realtor or a broker wants to do when they are part of a much larger real estate corporation, which most of you are. So you work for Keller Williams or you work for, um, uh, you work for Coldwell Banker. Now these companies have spent millions and millions of dollars trying to inspire emotion based on a very small set of words. And that's what a slogan is. A slogan is something that a corporate entity has spent a lot of time and a lot of money and still spends a lot of time and a lot of money building up a reputation around. Now, here we go. ERA, always there for you. I just did, um, I connected my blog post to a Google search so that you could see all the various ways. So this is a video. This is a, a sign. There's lots of different ways that basically smaller ERA brokers or affiliates or franchisees, whatever the, the language is that's associated with ERA. But they are trying to figure out ways in order to, how do they use their corporate brand? Um, this is an excellent way. Signage, okay? Put it right out there for people to see. Um, another thing about big brokers and something that is is very prevalent in my blog post is that it is very underestimated the value of digital branding that your primary broker is putting forth. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of slogans and logos are only visible on the corporate website. And I've had a lot of real estate agents and professionals over the years talk to me about, well, they're not really doing this massive TV campaign. Well, Long and Foster so this is a, an analytics tool, and this tool is roughly guessing the or, what's called organic traffic. That is a very fancy way of saying of how many people from Google come to the website each month. So if there's 50,000 people from Google, there's probably three times as many coming to the site through referral sites, that's other long and foster websites, as well as social channels. So you can be pretty sure that there's about 200,000 people that hit the home page of this particular website. All of them see this. So during the span of a year, somewhere in the vicinity of one to two million people see this slogan on the home page. So if you are worked for Long and Foster and they have given you permission to use their corporate slogan or branding, it would be a very, very smart thing for you to, to also put search, see, love on the home page of your website because it would tie right into your corporate branding and give you the power of all that visibility that Long and Foster has been trying to inspire. Um, now quite literally, one of my favorite real estate slogans, actually not one, my favorite with the way that they've done it, is uh, Douglas Elliman. Um, now Elliman, their slogan is called Ask Element. And when you go to their website, which is actually element.com without the ask in front of it, you see a section that's called Ask Element. When you come in here, it's basically a what, what I would refer to as a microsite, but it's essentially a website within a website. It is an entire blog, a new site that's called Ask Element. Go ahead, ask Element, email us for your real estate questions. They will be answered by our team of real estate experts and posted here. Now the, now the truth is, is that I have done some SEO analytics on this, and it's not getting a tremendous amount of organic traffic, but it doesn't need to. 
in order to enhance the brand and to just make this valuable they really only need to field a handful of questions and they do you can see here that they've been fielding questions since october 11th that these questions are answered by Dottie herman they turn off the comments which is a very good corporate ploy because if the the blog isn't getting a ton of traffic but they are getting the occasional email enough to have questions to answer really all that people coming to the website need to understand is that this brand is very serious about communicating to the audience and this particular website really sends that message quite strongly and then you also get of course advertising every time you click on something it goes someplace else and each one of these segments of the site really truly inspire so a really 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 good website these days is a lifestyle website okay it's it's so if you're a uh, a real estate agent in uh let's just say long island or cape cod cape may okay any of the capes any place near a, a, an ocean you really are a lifestyle salesperson at that point because you're not buying a home you're buying a lifestyle and a great website ties their slogan ties their tagline into that principle everything communicates that message and element as a big brand does better at it than anybody i've seen they communicate really clearly that they're going in the direction of being a lifestyle company. Actually, that's not true. There's one other company that does it very well, which is the agency art. Um, but I'm not going to focus on them. I'm just going to show you Ask Element. So this is a very, 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 very good way to do a real estate slogan. And if you are much smaller than Element and you're wondering, oh, what, but how do I do that if I'm small? You don't do an entire website. You do a page on your website with a couple of links that go someplace else. Do not be overwhelmed by larger companies with bigger promotions. If you want to do a slogan and a tagline on your site, there are ways for you to do it. Now, before I forget, I need to also show you something that you don't want to do. Here's one thing you don't want to do. So you put a really strong call to action, find your dream home which technically is tagline, okay? This is a site called the Hamptons Real Estate. But this is actually, it, it, you can go deeper into the website and do your research as I have, but this real estate brokerage actually considers the sign of experience to be their tagline. So they've basically put like a, their, it's not even really a slogan, it's essentially two taglines in the same space on a website right next to each other never do that if you if you want to have a slogan and a tagline even if you're just a small local brand or you're an agent you can have a slogan and um a brand if you want uh, the altman brothers do it they've got uh, a brand that's called the difference and they also have some taglines too if you want to know what they do just go check out their website and you'll be able to figure it out i think on your own because they're very very good at branding but so this right here is the sign of experience. Just don't do this. Separate with that. One of the things that I that I mentioned in my blog post and it doesn't really matter what I mentioned it, but but I did I I end up getting a lot of questions from my clients over the years that I've been doing this. One of the most consistent questions, especially when I'm sitting down with, with clients um, who have small businesses, real estate agents, they always want to know, where do you get your creativity from? Like, how do you come up with, with ideas very, very quickly for the web? Or where do you pull from? And I think that a lot of that actually just has to, has a lot to do with understanding who you are as a person. Everybody can be creative. However, how you, like what you use for inspiration and how you learn is a really important part for creativity. 
So one of those things that I do is when I'm ready to be creative, I am, I am probably going to massacre this word, but one of the things, I am a kinesthetic learner, okay, which means I learn by doing. Part of the reason I do these videos and I write blogs, and I spend hundreds if not thousands of hours doing this, and I'm doing it, f doing it for free, but what is happening is I am learning, really, really, truly learning the material. Now, I knew it to start with, but that doesn't change the fact that by teaching it, by doing it, I learn it 10 times better. I become truly an expert. I could read something a hundred times, but when I do it, that's when I truly learn. Now, there's all sorts of learners. There's visual learners, auditory learners, reading and writing learners, but whatever type of learner you are, you need to understand this, and here's why. Because it affects the creative process. So you want to come up with a slogan, or you want to come up with a tagline. Well, depending on which one of these are, or, or you could be a couple, like you could be visual and auditory. The reason that I'm making this video, which is a visual aid, is because with people who are visually inspired, going through this video is going to give them the ideas that they need. They're going to, they're going to see the way that somebody else does their brand. You know, Alan Tate, okay? Not too impressive, but they have um, uh, uh, a couple of taglines here and there. We'll get you moving is one of theirs. So Alan Tate will get you moving, and it goes along with their relocation and corporate services, okay? So essentially, it's a tagline that goes along with a very particular division of theirs. That's what I chose to look at when I was doing my blog post. But you know what? Some people seeing it in use along with the logo, which by the way changes depending on what section of the website that you're in, might give them an idea because it's visual. Or listening to me, which is auditory. Or the combination of the two. Um, or for that very select few, because kinesthetic learners are the smallest section of learners that there are. It comes out to 5% of us really actually learn by doing. I'm one of the 5%. So I have to really, to really, really understand something, I have to do it. I've been in sales for 25 years, and even when, with all of that experience, when I get ready to, to train on a particular sales subject, uh, the way that I really truly learn it and get ready to train it is I go out and do it. And I, I've been doing this a long time, and I know that a lot of people who train in sales, they don't feel like they have to do it. Maybe they don't, because the sales tactic is a sales tactic, and that is so very true. However, for me personally, until I apply the knowledge I'm about ready to teach. I don't feel like I truly understand the ins and outs of it. So, understand what kind of learner you are. It's extremely important. So really quickly, auditory learners prefer to hear it. Um, info rather than reading it or seeing it displayed visually. Reading writing learners learn best when you guessed it, reading and writing. Okay, so interacting with quizzes or tests, very powerful for them. Um, and kinesthetic learners learn by doing. So how would you learn by doing in terms of a slogan? Well, there are a lot of pre-built slogan uh, tools out there. And you could go through these pre-built tools and uh, like all you have to do is Google slogan generator or tagline generator and you'll see a whole bunch of them. For reading and writing learners, then all you have to do is Google slogans or taglines and you'll see lists of a hundred so if you're reading down that list hopefully that would inspire you to see a tagline that you like or hey hell steal one directly off the list uh that's what the lists are there for i'm saying steal but take um uh visual learners now visual learners is what i've created this entire post for hopefully through the the blog post and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, what am i going to name this post it's, it's huge. It's, it's mostly pictures, though. Don't don't be scared. It's it's not that it's super long. It's that it's visual. So I'm going to name this post something like 50 real estate slogans, 50 real estate slogans and taglines and visual guide. All right. So if you just Google that, 50 real estate slogans and taglines and visual guide, you should be able to pull up my post. And for those of you that are visual, which is actually a very very large percentage, it's like 60% uh, or something of people learn visually which is why I decided to do a visual guide. There's tons and tons and tons of text guides out there. 
with just these lists of uh, taglines and slogans. And I included some of those in there too, just for those of you that just want to see that list and have all of your information in the same place at the same time. But I literally just, for the most part, copied those lists and I gave credit to the people that I took those lists from. Um, uh, something that's very important to do in the digital world. Last but not least, I promised a couple more ideas about real estate uh, slogans, taglines, things like that. So I want to kind of tie this all together. You as a realtor understand the, the place that you do business in and the kind of realtor that you are. If you're a part-time realtor, you don't want to use and, and you're unsure about your career path, you don't want to use a tagline that says you're a realtor for life because you don't know if you're going to be like in this in this business, I, I would suggest a tagline that would that would somehow identify with your lifestyle. A mom that cares, or a mom that cares about homes. Like if you're part time because you're raising ch children, it's just that's just one idea. Let's say you're a realtor that specializes in a niche, and I have one of those on my list. He specializes in modern real estate, and the name of his company is Paul Kaplan Modern Real Estate. When you see his website, you see the example of my blog post, you'll understand why that tagline is more than enough. He is passionate, he only sells modern real estate, he really doesn't deviate off that. And the really, really great real estate agents that have a strong personal brand do that. Like, if they need to refer business to other people, that's what they'll do. If you become determined to be, to epitomize your brand, that will, that will shine through everything that you do. Um, if you're a, a team player, then become a broker and build a team and have a tagline that, that revolves around your team. Some people are better leaders than doers, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or they're good at both, and there's nothing wrong with that. Try to find something that matches your personality, the marketplace that you're in, and if you can, a niche. Super important a niche, something that you specialize in. Here's a couple more. International real estate excellence, I live for results, selling made easy, selling results not promises. I don't really like selling made easy, but selling results not promises is good for listing agents. Okay, because listing agents, like people who are trying to get them to, to sign listing contracts, oftentimes the biggest complaint of the end consumer, the pain point, is I signed a contract with somebody and they didn't sell my home, right? So selling results, not promises. Might be effective. Depends on your market. Helping you from start to finish. Digital marketing specialist. One of my personal favorites, obviously. Now, there aren't too many of these out there. Bill Gassett would be one. But these are people that, that are just really, really good. They have many, many pe people coming to them online. Um, there, There's companies out there like Real Geeks that have developed a specialty with a certain type of marketing. Like Real Geeks is real good at training the people that are using their services to use Facebook marketing, as an example. So somebody doing really, really strong, um, strong business through social media, like advertising, could literally say that they're, they're a Facebook marketing specialist. That would be another tagline to use. So I hope that these are starting to get the juices flowing. Because another way to use Tile the Lines is to actually design it around your business. But you should. Any time that you create a memorable phrase around your business, you yourself are going to be more memorable. And that is the power behind slogans and taglines. They, they are advertising gold for a reason. And, and real estate professionals must know that because it's one of the most searched for terms in the entire real estate keyword, keyword world. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you, if you want some more ideas, leave some comments um, below this video and I will do my best to respond. Uh, see you next time.